right, losers finals between Sir Spud and Sorry Tag. Sir Spud going with his very familiar Gengar. Sorry Tag going with his wonderful Mewtwo. I like many matchups, I imagine Gengar's opponent wins. But Sir Spud is of course our number one player here. Excellent at eye framing for dangerous situations. Who will take field? I'm not sure. There's a lot of there's a lot of distance between these two. Mewtwo Soming closes a lot of the distance usually, so that will take that. Ooh, an unpunished 6x. Old tough director thinks Spud was in the middle of an animation. Grab, take it back in the field, and take some synergy at the same time. We have Frogadier to apply a little bit of pressure and keep Sorry Tag locked in this something. Unfortunately, he's a little out of range to get hit by the fully charged homing, and will turn it around and take it to the field. And Sorry Tag tries to back dash to safety over Spud. Aggro's on him and then just catch him anyway. Sorry, tags 5 Y catching Gengar in the air. Misha's a kind of a hard far, far away because Gengar can duck a lot of things from that distance. However, Gengar brings himself inward and managed manages to get him. However, Sorry, Tag took him caused a lot of the damage. Sir Spud is just sitting in the corner, just breaking up support, but I- yeah, that's- that's not gonna- that's not enough. Now he spent that in half of that round just charging his burst, so he's almost there. He could almost lead with it if he really wanted to. That time he had enough space. Take the uh, field base. Lots of astonished trickery. And a shadow punch. I frames over through Mewtwo's very low counter. To an astonished combo. Impressive damage with a very difficult input combo from Gengar, taking Sorry Tag all the way into rage. Now Abusing the lack of hits that frame the side strike to I frame through it and get another astonished combo on the sorry tag. This timing looks crazy. Too many buttons, this is the push all at one time against the wall as he sticks to it and falls to it very often. Sorry tag trying to get some chip damage from super far away as this Gengar can't duck field phase this easily. This can duel. What will sorry tag do? <laughs> Catches his vulnerable frames at getting off of that ghost dash. Grabs him and gets into duel. Only for Gengar to dive kick him. And take the very last sliver of his HP away. This makes Sir Spud's burst charging in round one all the more questionable because he didn't use it in round two. However, it's prepared and there for round three. Sorry, Tag avoiding the sludge bombs, but putting himself into a corner. Now he's out of the corner. Just would give him some nice space to move. Oh, with 6x will- or sorry, on block 6x will get punished by Spud. Frog will stop Sorry Tag in his tracks. Uh, I'm not sure- but the grab is for, however, he will get crit punched by Gengar, who is trying to apply shield pressure in field. And now Gengar, of course, knowing that he can duck a lot of things in the distance, gets caught in a fire punch in the middle of some astonished uh, trickery. That's the burst he needs to get out of the corner. Sorry, Tag not fearing it much, though. Instead, taking a lot of damage and pulling us back into field phase. And going for his homing attack. And his his le his respect but lack of fear I, I do respect. Sorry, Tags, I mean. Because he is not falling for um, the taunting that, you know, Gengar usually applies just by having a burst grab that you cannot react to as far as I know. Oh, 
Alright, so game one. A little bit of chip and hyper beam, but overall that first move does not do a lot. Mewtwo's amazing homing, lots of range, we'll catch that. However, in duel, he suffers a lot from lack of mids, and we'll have to get around that. Kanga <laughs> goes over the counter, getting a nice uh, hit on Mewtwo. Mewtwo will bring Gengar down to half his health by getting a grab. Using Frog to keep Mewtwo away for a little bit longer. I'm not sure it's but hit. It's possibly some sort of 8x or something, but did not come out fast enough. Hyper Beam cancel will give Gengar a chance to get in, and Gengar will counter through Mewtwo's homing attack. But has enough time to get an astonished cancel or er, astonished combo going and psych sorry tag into shielding with that shadow ball pressure. Alright. Search bud I frame through that grab gets a nice shadow punch combo on the wall. And Scooby's a little bit of synergy in the uh, squishy body. What on earth did I just witness besides Gnosis getting through something? It's one of Gengar's important tools for survival. <laughs> I think he was trying to avoid Mewtwo's random burst, which he only has about a second left to use. But falls for Hyper Beam. Getting a little reckless here. However, Mewtwo's burst pressure is completely gone now. And sorry, Tag will take game two. Second going on here. Search Bud will not fall for that barrier grab. And we'll jump over Mewtwo's counter and get an astonish combo going. <laughs> Scooby's a meager amount of synergy. Somehow manages to jump over his Hyper Cat. That's pretty impressive. Alright, now Gengar's in the safe zone, however, he has to do some damage if he wants to catch up. But unfortunately, Gengar lands in the grab range from you two. <laughs> Playing it as safe as he can, however, Mewtwo's homing is just too active for the iframes to help him out. Do a side strike combo with one just train. Fusion, of course, jumpable. But that was an interesting exchange. I believe Gengar was hit from back. Catches Sorry Tag with the tricky Shadow Ball grab. It's new in DX, of course. This was new about three months ago, and now it isn't. Anyway. That was one fanta fa fantastic looking dance between them. Ended with Sir Spud switching into duel. Will he pop first? Is the question I'm right now. Right, playing it safe in the safe distance. That was risky. Curse will catch Mewtwo's vulnerable frames. 
gets around sorry tags pokey grab but he still has to finish off 40 HP and he does good job Sir's so sitting at full burst. Gets caught by Hyper Beam, unfortunately. Sorry, like Hyper Beam cancels for lots of Mewtwo trickery. His Mewtwo trickery is like super tricky right now. But getting that astonished cancel keeps the reset into duel because he is clearly at an advantage right now. He's not get caught by Sorry Tech's uh, somewhat risky grab. Interesting exchange brings us back to the field. It's our next favor. And they are both sitting at first right now. Coincidentally, they both have grab first, so they both have a lot to fear from each other. And sorry tag, we'll take Loser's finals match versus Sir Spud in an intense burst battle.